Hi, my name is Justin Harlick and I'm an attorney with Westgate Law. I've personally filed over 3,000 bankruptcy cases and consulted with over 10,000 people in my career. Today I'd like to talk about whether you have to include all your creditors in your bankruptcy paperwork when you file bankruptcy. The quick answer is yes. Everyone you owe money to must be paid or must be included in your bankruptcy paperwork. You cannot pick and choose creditors when you file bankruptcy. There are exceptions only from the standpoint of trying to keep a house or keeping a car and credit unions actually have the right to be um, to, re to, to keep an account with a credit union after you file bankruptcy. So you could actually have a credit, your credit card with a credit union and still keep that credit card and maintain the relationship with the credit union. But in the vast majority of cases when they're unsecured credit cards with some of the typical creditors you can think of, you cannot leave any of them out. What is very common is that people even will not tell me about an account or they'll have an account with a zero balance. Those accounts will likely even be closed even if you don't notify them. Right now all creditors are typically connected. When you file bankruptcy and you notify one company it's very likely that other companies are connected to that one company because they're servicing all the accounts together. So meaning you could have an account with three different uh, uh, department stores or different banks but one bank is handling all those accounts so when you file bankruptcy your social security number goes out to everyone and all of those accounts get closed even if you didn't list them so it's worth it to include everyone this is a fresh start you can reestablish after bankruptcy so don't leave anyone out they're all going to be eliminated give me a call today at 800-891-1995 again that's 800-891 1995 and you'll speak to me personally. My name is Justin and we'll talk about your case today.